After a brief Christmas shipping delay, we finally received the last bottle of sealant. We got the floor finished and it feels fantastic to have that done. Outside of that, we kept things pretty mellow with some minor prep work for a very special visitor who we haven't seen in almost five years. Better hey. Yeah. That special guest is my dad. <laughs> So, with the floor coming up 30 mil, uh, this is now too high, so we need to swap out this fitting for something that's going to fit on there, like that. So first things first, we're going to cut this down. Right, so you want it 60 mil high, yeah? Well, you don't want to do that's what I'm saying. Measure twice, cut once. Who are you measuring? That's a bit shy. That's why we measure twice. Oh, look at that! Yeah, exactly. Cut my lasers off and leave the laser there. Save from sharpie, you know. This doesn't really work because I'm blocking the. Yeah, you're blocking the. Yeah, it's just a way to make it. Yeah. Let's do that. Yeah, I got it wrong. Touche. Oh, not like that. Just do it, what you would have done. <laughs> Got you back. Hit you. Give him a bit of It's quite funny to come back into this room after all this time and all this work. <laughs> And it looks exactly the same as it did about three months ago. It's just, could you, it's just got a different coloured floor. <laughs> We're just back to having a toilet in the middle of the room. <laughs> oh, progress. But we've got to keep going. And I think the next thing is to put in the door in our big opening here, our big arch opening. And we actually bought a door about three months ago, basically that just fits with the same style of all the other doors that we have along the house. Um, but then having this open this whole time, I thought, oh, maybe we actually need it just to all be glass and all be open. And then we were looking at different options, maybe a sliding door, um, but with the arch the way it is and how much we've had to raise up the floor, <laughs> Jack realised he couldn't actually fit. If the door were to open from here, he'd have to duck every time he got into the came into the house. So that is not a good idea. Having this light in here is so nice because so many of these houses are so, like they just have the tiny little windows, which I know it makes sense because it's cooler in summer and warmer in winter, but having light in is, is energy that you need in your house. I need that, I need light energy. We could never be 100% sure that the door was going to fit because we didn't know exactly how high the floor was gonna end up after we raised it with the different levels. So we're gonna see now how close we got. <laughs> oh wow. So we got close, but not close enough. Um, Dad and I were out here chatting about uh, a couple of different options to fix this, but we've realized that what we can do is cut in a wee slot here and at the other corner, basically just the width of the door frame, just high enough, and then we can bring this under it and slot it up into that space. So then it's still flat and level on the ground and it's tucked up into the arch. It's only about a centimetre and a half. And then we still get the nice arch shape on the inside and the outside. And you can't really tell. Yeah. Um, 
I suggested that we cut the corners off the door frame, but Dad said that was a really bad idea, so I'm going to trust him on this one. Okay, and how are we finishing the gap? The rest of it. <laughs> those are those are decisions that you're going to have to make. Me? Yeah, these are aesthetic decisions. Well, is it? Yeah, but we'll take care of all the framing and and getting it in. So what else do you need from me? So the only other decision that we need to make is basically how big we want the windows that will go in these gaps. Okay. Whether you want them to be full length or half or um, stained glass. Stained glass, oh yeah. It's like 70s cubes in colour. Um, I was thinking not all the way down. No, I was thinking maybe like two thirds of the window. Two th the top two thirds glass and the bottom not glass. <gasps> do we agree? Well, that's not possible, so <laughs> what, do you, what do you think? No, we agree, that's what I think. Okay, awesome. I'm just having a look at the outside of the house where the guttering, this is such a problem this year. The house is going green because all the rain is missing the gutter. Look. Yeah. It's green. That's never happened before. There's just been so much rain. So... That's a, another job you need to do urgently. Yeah, I really think before we get onto too much else, unfortunately, I'm going to need to get up there and patch that up because it's probably going to get wetter and wetter. Well, we haven't even had the rainy month. No, I know. Which is ridiculous. Yeah, so I definitely need to have a look, um, at least assess what's going on, try and figure out how I'm going to fix it. Not really my area, so. Is any of this your area? I think you've done very well. Something I really struggle with in winter um, and why I want to change the colour of our shutters is that everything goes green. Um, everything gets so damp and because we have all these lovely trees here which are beautiful in summer, in winter, because the sun is lower, it doesn't actually make it over the trees and we grow so much green everything goes green they should not be green <laughs> um so like with the green gates and the green walls and the greenhouse uh we don't need green shutters as well so i really want to change the color um and i'm really excited to get new shutters and put new shutters on i think it will just like give the whole house a complete facelift but i don't know what color i'm so bad at choosing colors i'm tempted just to go for white but I have seen some really lush, like greys, which are tempting me. But maybe I should just be safe and stick with white. <laughs> um, definitely not green though. We need a break. See, everything's just green, 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 and green and brown. Maybe we should go pink or red, <laughs> orange. Some villages in France have um, a rule about what colour you can actually have your shutters. Um, they can be very limiting, but we don't have that rule in our village, which actually makes it harder to choose. So my plan is to get the overall width of this space, yeah. minus the width of the door. Yeah. That's how much space we need on either side. Then I want to measure that from the outside, mark it on the floor, then use the laser level to have a line directly vertically from those marks and that'll show us where it needs to be here. This gives us a clear indication of exactly how deep we need to go. Not much really. Yeah. Not much at all, but <laughs> I notice it's actually different on each side. Yeah. Which is just a testament to the handmade nature of this arch. Yeah, which is fine. Yeah. Done. We've got a new door in. <laughs> you look adorable. Welcome to my home. Please step into my front door. It's so nice to see you here. What? It actually just turned out perfect. <laughs> Who 
who's a weird combination of humans, you and I. That's level, right? Yeah. Side one, looking good. Onto side two, B side. Let's see how it goes. Perfect. Burner, 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 burner. 430. Is that what it ended up as on the other side? Oh, look at that. It's so uniform. Uniform like a unicorn. <laughs> That's the old saying goes. Like uniform like a unicorn. I count myself very lucky to be able to learn from people like Becca's dad and mine. It's been wonderful having my dad here for Christmas, and I want to say a quick thanks for your help with these projects, Dad. Also, thanks for the DIY jeans and setting the example that goes with them. Thanks for being a patient teacher, for sharing your experience but trusting me to take the lead. I appreciate you putting up with my shenanigans. Jack, you break that. <laughs> cheers for the dad jokes, cheers for the banter, for teaching me to calibrate the table saw, putting up with my singing, and for lending your talents to this video. Let me out. It is. See you next Sunday.